Designing a house that transcends time and transcends fashion is a dynamic that occurs more easily in a private parcel where all there is is the plot of land empty and ready to develop. But when the residence is already built, within a residential complex with a style that is the opposite, whose restrictions on the part of the board in relation to modifications prevent making any changes to the facade that could alter its architecture. That is where the challenge of turning that residence into one that transcends fashion and style takes work, analysis, and one of the most intense brainstorming sessions that can be done. Greetings, I am Stacy McAllen and on this occasion I present to you the remodeling proposal for 537 Pasaas Los Corrales 1 in Pasaas de Dorado in the municipality of Dorado, Puerto Rico. Luis Daniel Rivera, in this proposal, tries to translate the abstract idea of a couple that acquired this property, and that its structure and configuration is in its original state since the residence was built at the beginning of this century. A residence in its purest state, like a rough, unpolished diamond hiding the greatest potential it has hidden. One of the first changes requested in consensus is to convert the home office into a guest room with a private bathroom. To achieve this objective, the public space of the home must be reduced by 6 feet in depth. In this space, a full bathroom was designed and a space was located to place a closet for short stays. Luis Daniel for this proposal, I use white as the base color of the entire house, creating accents in both the furniture and the details to break up and create a focal point. This house, like all those in the Los Corrales 1 complex, does not have panoramic views, so to create an environment that encourages a pleasant stay, it must be designed in an introverted way, maximizing every possible opportunity. In the original conception of the house, the little fenestration that there is in the house prevents the passage of natural lighting into the interior of the house, as well as the interaction with the exterior of the house, creating an atmosphere of confinement and somewhat dark during daytime periods. Luis Daniel decided to open the spaces to the outside, reorganizing the spaces in such a way that the entire public part of the house had a direct relationship with the focal point of the property, the pool. The kitchen was one of the most important challenges of this design, since a proposal is proposed where the kitchen becomes a space subdivided into two spaces. The indoor kitchen and the outdoor kitchen. Both separated by wall glass and a glass door that allows both spaces to have their independence, but at the same time they can complement each other and assist each other in special and extraordinary situations.
All the public space of the house has direct interaction with the patio area where the pool becomes the centerpiece of the entire program. The terrace in this proposal is presented as a structure at one and a half heights, but separated from the main structure. This to a certain extent, to make way for both natural lighting and also the breeze that sometimes occurs in the place. The patio is located in the east of the property so the sunrise can be seen directly from this area. The pool area is divided into four sections that each have a different function, but at the same time together make it a sculptural piece. The first section is the Los Coros area at the express request of the owner of the property. This area is adjacent to the family room and is separated from the rest of the pool thanks to a floating passage that separates the living area from the terrace of the outdoor kitchen. The second section of the pool is the sun deck area facing south to enjoy a good sunbath and tan, the third section the jacuzzi area where you can enjoy a good moment of relaxation, and the fourth a small space for diving and short stretches of swimming. A detail to highlight in relation to the design of the terrace is that it is designed to be built with the insulated concrete wall panel system or CGTM2, which in Puerto Rico is worked in coordination with Ecologica Carmelo, Inc. This is in addition to being an earthquake-resistant structural component and resistant to hurricane winds where to 150 mph, has its greatest strength in its great thermal insulation capacity, making the terrace area a totally cool space at high temperatures, very common in the Caribbean. On the south facade of the residence, a pedestrian corridor is proposed, roofed with a pergola built in GCT, and decorated with a landscaping in keeping with the characteristics of the beach environment of the area. This corridor is ideal for receiving visitors, and they are limited to the terrace area without them having the need to enter the interior of the property. It also has the purpose of dampening the solar lighting that punishes that facade directly, dampening, indirectly the climate inside the adjoining space on the first level. Basically with this proposal, the public space opens to the outside, creating an interaction that promotes comfort, relaxation and creates a harmonious environment that invites you to stay and enjoy the property. 
This proposal based on the personal philosophy of Luis Daniel Rivera, based on the experience lived during the past COVID-19 pandemic. According to Luis Daniel, the pandemic confinement that millions of families experienced around the world gave a value and importance to the house that it did not have before that event. And in the face of this new reality, a new redefinition of the concept of home is urgently needed. The home, in one where the house is designed and prepared to, in addition to being a place to rest and spend the night, serve as a place of work, a place of study, relaxation and entertainment. Below we will be witnessing some of the modifications requested by the property owners, among them. The expansion of the warehouse that is accessed through the garage, the installation of a coffee station, wine area, remodeling of the bathrooms, laundry, modification of the height of windows in some point. And shortly we will be talking about the modifications in the master bedroom of the property. important fact about the floor finish in this proposal. Luis Daniel Rivera, following the request of one of the owners of this residence to make it timeless, presents the alternative of replacing the current turn-of-the-century style floor, and in its place installing 36 by 36 porcelain tile. In combination with white as the predominant color gives it a contemporary air, and at the same time a style that transcends time.
The master bedroom underwent several slight modifications, the most significant being the remodeling and transformation of the master bathroom, a suggestion presented directly by Luis Daniel Rivera, and the creation of a small home office space for the exclusive use of the owner from the bedroom. The bedroom area is being used as a reference to the current master bedroom they have in the residence where they currently reside, and which the owner requested as a surprise for his wife. The home office that the owner requested to be built with only access from the main room, he requested for personal use after his work day in his medical office. So we tried to design something compact but with the same architectural vocabulary as the rest of the house. The master bathroom has the particular seal of Luis Daniel Rivera, where it replaces the old bathroom, somewhat out of fashion and a somewhat obsolete style, and presents a more minimalist, more comfortable style and following the design parameters of the rest of the, the residence, a totally timeless one. For this proposal, the ceiling panels were not developed, since a better alternative is still being considered given the height of the ceilings in the greatest number of areas of the residence. 8 feet tall, it is being explored what type of lighting can be a viable, functional alternative that reflects fashion and style, which is why it was not presented in this proposal.
This is, according to what Luis Daniel Rivera presents to us, a translation of the abstract idea that both Dr. Canerlas and his wife presented at the initial meeting last Thursday, June 6, 2024 when he took the tour through the property. In its original state, would I have been correct in the translation? Would you have been able to read and interpret the desires and needs of the Canerlas family in this brainstorming? Certainly in this initial reading, a huge tray of possibilities opens up in relation to the potential that both the residents and the Canerlas family have. This translation was carried out both through the requests that the owners of this property made and through the study of the personality, character and essence of the owners based on the perception that Luis Daniel Rivera had in their initial meeting, since for him, in this first meeting is where the nature and essence of the project is defined. Stacey McAllen, and I thank you for the time you have shared with me to enjoy the proposal that Luis Daniel Rivera presents for the remodeling of 537 Pasa a Las Corrales 1. In Pasa as de Dorado, in the municipality of Dorado, Puerto Rico, we hope that this proposal has been to your liking and even more importantly, that its translation has been a faithful reflection of what you as a family want for your main residence. This first Brian storming is the basis of the project that we are just beginning and it is extremely important to make the decisions that you as a family will make in the next few hours or days, but above all, the consensus, and at this point, it is important that all parties involved in this project understand the importance of their desires, needs and that this is their greatest life project, your house, your home, until next time.